everybody this is day trader rockstar and this is a market radar for april 14th uh thursday coming off a nice day on wednesday and i have a lot to talk about but i want to keep it real short because i promised to get a market radar out today tonight but i don't want to make it too long because a lot of people probably won't get it until the uh the morning and i want it to be about uh less than 10 minutes long so it's uh easy reading easy listening we're going to start off here, of course, talking about the markets. We're going to get to the CMG chart in a second, but um, S&P cash chart. You know, it, the beauty of uh, trading and day trading radio is that uh, you, you learn in a methodology, and a lot of the methodology is based off of pattern recognition and seeing these patterns play out and knowing how they move. Uh, this is just almost like a textbook. You have this rising wedge pattern. You have the breakdown. You have the retracement to the trend line. A new channel develops. A one, two, three channel we call one pivot, two pivot, three pivot. When you have two pivots on the top, you could draw a tr parallel trend line. When you get a price down there and you oversold like that, that's a two indicator or a two indicator setup with a reversal candle makes it three, makes it an HPS setup, and that's exactly what we wait for each and every time in this market. So we had a feeling that you know on our daily chart on the S and P we had this divergence playing out, the daily divergence where we had this lower high. Yet we had this higher high, and that told us that we're going to get a pullback, and we were able to we were able to trade this pullback. But you know, something about the pullback looked a little funky. We didn't expect too much to come from that pullback, so it's kind of a uh, you know, it's not a big big pullback, but enough to you know maybe catch a couple of shorts or at least prepare yourself for a or get yourself in better position for a breakout. So that was the last market radar. We looked for this pullback, so don't uh, don't count on a big pullback. Uh, and prepare yourself for a rip to new highs, and this is exactly what we're starting to see here in the last two days. We had a pop yesterday, a follow-through pop. We really broke out of the flag, this minor daily flag. You can really see it on the 60-minute time frame. There's two magenta lines, these purplish lines here. It was that flag. And then inside these patterns, we have other patterns. And all this is all different time frames. We deal with the five-minute the 60 minute, the daily, and even the one minute during our, our, our during the bro broadcast um, during the day when we're looking at the futures, and these patterns play out on every single time frame. So it's a, you know it's it's good to see it on a bigger time frame because you get a bigger move. So everything here pointing to a push back up. Now that we broke out of that flag, is continuation flags or continuation patterns. This has been a, a rock and roll move here from uh, mid February lows. All the way up, we rarely had a few days days down, and our our lane divergence really, you know, kind of predicted that recent pullback. But because we had such a good divergence back here that predicted the move up, this um, this move, this lower low, and this higher low, this higher low is what we're concerned with. Being put in a higher low, we could actually draw a trend line underneath this. And what I see over in my years and years of trading that lots of times we'll start to see that because of the divergence and because of the higher low, that we tend to even hold that trend line of that. And look how this the stochastic oscillator came right down to that trend line and we started to turn back up. That's not ma magic or smoke and mirrors. It's something that I see over and over again and that's why I bring it to your attention. And that's why we look at this level, seeing a flag and seeing this support level here and saying, hey, there's a good shot. We're going to actually break out and, you know, plan our trades accordingly to that. So that's what we're seeing right now. And there's probably a great chance that we're eventually going to get back up towards these highs. Um, you know, the daily could be turning back up here. If we fail, we fail. And we have to really, you know, look for that. The uh, negative here is, of course, the 60-minute time frame, but that's not really a negative. If you could see, we're starting to embed up here, and an embedded stochastic is usually a strong stochastic and a lot of momentum uh, underlying here. So there's a lot of positives on these charts and uh, exciting stuff that's happening. So I, you know, so tomorrow I'm I'm really looking forward to because we got the RAM bot working back on the. Um, actually, this is something a little bit different. This is the ES and the RAM bot, but I'm not looking at that. I'm I'm actually. Oops, I lost that. I gotta keep that. Tranquilizer overbought. Oops. NQ tradeometer oversold. YM tradeometer oversold. I'm sorry if that just blew your eardrums out. I have um, I have my tradeometer up and running in the background, so I apologize that if you just got that, I could mute that for you. Um, you can tell the futures are actually just trading off a little right now, and um, I'll show you that. Yes, tradeometer oversold. Yeah, I know. Let me um, let me see if I can mute that for now. And uh, get back to that. Let me see if I can mute that. I'll mute that on that one, and then I'm going to mute it over on the other one. 
we don't need this one right here. All right, so we're going to go back now. So we shouldn't have that interruption again. So we talked about the SP. Let's talk about some in individual stocks. Tomorrow is Thursday. Like I said, if you get get inside the uh, in, inside the chat room or get on the site tomorrow, if you want to do some trading with us at Day Trading Radio, uh, definitely come by. I think we're going to have a great day, especially with the indicators. Uh, I think today tomorrow is going to be a fantastic opportunity uh, with the Rambot. The Rambot was kicking butt today. Um, I'm not going to talk about that uh, on this video. I want to go over some stocks, but the Rambo has been, you know, the five-minute set setups have been just crushing it. And really, um, you know, again, if you watch the show, you could see actually how we mark off the buy and uh, buy zones and the sell zones and the short zones uh, during the day, and that's just been um, the five-minute time frame has been perfect for that. But uh, an easy, you know, just I've, I've been stressing so much. The importance of even on the one minute time frame is to always realize where the momentum is shifted to. And if you're, if you even have a five minute shift here and the stochastics are ro rotating up, why would you, why would you short when the stochastics are pulling back down here? And why would you go long when the stochastics are up here on the five minute chart? These just, you know, in this case, you actually went sideways and you pushed down and you kind of drifted back up. But, the, the, you know, you might as well wait for that little rotation right here and then go long instead of trying to go long here and have to deal with this little pullback. So it doesn't matter if you have a strong trending day or, or whatever. It's best always to apply the rules that we stick, you know, that we, you know, come up with our criteria of entering a trade it's so important some days you're going to have a strong trending day where we get a gap up and we kind of trend up and you have to recognize that there's experience and some other clues will help you determine if it's a trend day and if it's a trend day you take the trend trade you know if it's strong trade trend up you buy the pullbacks if it's a strong trend down you short the pops um you know that's just uh that's such a big equalizer in the market all right so let's talk about what we're watching going into tomorrow. Now I had a CMG chart up here. There's a, f a few stocks that uh, I've been taking positions in on some of the options lately, and uh, CMG is one of them on the pullback here. Now we've been trading this one, and now if for, for once we're starting to actually see a little t uh, tightening of a pattern, which you can actually identify as a nice little channel. This you know this sideways consolidation and the chop, and we broke down and we came back up. And typical of what happens, you know, here we could actually probably go back at look look at this um, this little pivot area here this nice trend line and we broke out of it and we came back and now we could probably even make the argument that we retested it but um, now that we retested it we're holding on to this new channel line we have this downward channel line and there's a couple of interesting things here we had this reversal candle and we didn't make a, a, a lane divergence or a, a lower low, but it was a nice turn back up here on the stochastics. And it, I prefer to get that lane divergence to kind of predict a channel breakout. We haven't had that, so I can't say, hey, this is definitely breaking out. If, we, if this was a lower low and we had this momentum type of thing here, you know, I'd probably be all in here off of this trade. Um, but there is still a great chance now of being able to identify when this trade is going to break out, when it's going to move. So keep an eye on that. We're going to be focused on that a lot. Um, going into the end of the week, Thursday and Friday, and possibly even next week, now that we have an established channel, all we have to do now is wait for our momentum to the setup. I mean, again, do we really want to buy into that 60-minute time frame? We seem to be holding right now up against that trend line, and we have a, you know, this has the possibility of a big pop uh, in it, but we'll let it come to us. You know, let's let the uh, trade play out. It's oversold on the uh, daily, possibly oversold. Um, I haven't looked at the weekly. Probably not over on the weekly. Getting getting there on the weekly, and it's Chipotle. You know, it's a it's a quality name. So, I am liking this one a lot. Now, Coles. We've been battling with Coles. Coles is another channel trade. Um, it's oversold, and we actually started to get that lift on the 60, and got a, a kind of extended here. And again, the same thing. We have an established channel. We just came off that channel line with a big reversal candle. Um, you know, we look at this channel to break back up and move back up here above 44, 45, possibly over 46. Now, this has been a long kind of basing stock, and you know, it, I've been buying some options in this, and it just hasn't been moving. But this now it does appear to be the you know, 
um, something's starting to brew here, and we're holding off the recent lows. We have a nice a channel. If we break out here, we have a lot of levels to look at. And I, th I still think this is a better trade to the upside to the da than da to then down to the downside. Excuse me. And there's other um, retail stocks that um, clothing retail stocks that all have very similar pattern. Nordstrom's, you know, that pull back and starting to bounce. These are all oversold and pushing back up. TGT. Um, started to bounce off of a pullback, Kohl's, and then we, we just talked about Kohl's, and then Macy's, very similar. Macy's actually has a very similar uh, pattern to it also. A little channel starting to develop, and all these are broken out of a, you know, broken down out of a rising channel line, and we typically look at this as a, you know, an opportunity to get back up into that. You know, it's, it is a, a weak sector. But I've I'm, I'm been concentrating on it. I want to see how it's uh, going to perform going into tomorrow. And that'll be a focus stock for me, uh, the Coles on this one. Now, the other um, the other setups here is Whole Food Mart. We doubled down today. Really uh, liking this base here. This is a nice base. And um, we actually have the potential of a divergence. So there's a very powerful move here. And we're going to go out here. Let me... Um, here I'm all psyched up. I'm trying to get this thing. When I get on the mic, it's just, you know, there's a, something about me trying to just fit it all in. I just could talk and talk and talk. There's so many good setups and so, so much education that we have to keep on. So here we have the lower trend line, all right? We're not even going to pay attention to the top one for now. But the series of lower, the lower lows here, this low right here, that low right here, and the possibility of this low with the reversal candle puts us a little bit higher here. Now we haven't turned up and confirmed it. Now personally, this is the type of divergence I'd rather see is is something like this where we have the low and then we turn back up. In this case, it's not a 100% divergence, it's almost a double bottom divergence, but you get these bigger moves. This one you probably could have qualified for this. This low right here, this candle low right here, and this low, and that low, and this higher low gives us that opportunity right here and you can see we really just ripped higher consolidation flag pushed higher flagged pushed higher. we actually traded these flags waited for the pullback got back in it and then it didn't really just bounce but now I think it's ready to bounce so I'm really 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 banging the table and a big table I have down here in the dungeon um, you know banging the table on this I, I like the whole food barn a lot. It's going to be a, a stock in focus going into next week. And we're going to look at potash, too. And again, that's just these are really cheap basing stocks. This one came out with downgrade. It reversed on it. Um, all these are oversold and starting to push back up. Um, this one, we, we talked about it yesterday going into today. And this was a divergence. So when we notice the divergence, um, again, banging the table on any type of divergence you see. And, uh, you know, we're the master of divergences here at Day Trading Radio. We search for them, and when you see them, these are the results you get from them. So you don't want to miss them. You don't want to miss them. You don't want to not, you know, be where the action is. It's just, it's, you, you might not make money, but not making, you're missing the moves is not making money. It, it's it's a shame because these are textbook setups. Um so this is a great divergence, and we're on top of that right now. And then, uh, of course, Joe. It did give us a little pullback um, today. Uh, you know, and that happens. You know, we had this nice trade. Here's another beautiful divergence. We took this trade up here. We got back in on the rotation down here. Nice follow through. Today was a little, uh, you know, a little uh, pullback, but. I think it's just, you know, not much going on there. You know, it's not the greatest stock to trade, but still in focus and still long on that. Um, what else we got here? We got the Apple. There's potential news out on Apple tomorrow. Motor Trend said they're going to come out with this article, and they kind of tweeted out that they had some kind of news on Apple. Uh, people were speculating if they had a scoop on some type of Apple iCar. An iCar? <laughs> Sounds like icon. But anyway... I ended up uh, getting in a little Apple today just to test that, test those waters out. I like Apple down here, believe it or not. You know, I liked it better under 110. Um, yeah, you know, it's uh, that'll be in focus tomorrow because there was possible news on Motor Trend magazine going to release an article. They think they there might be a scoop to ha be had. It's going to be you know, it'd be interesting to see what it comes out to 
to be. All right, uh, we have that going for us. And then the CSX took that off today. It, it did gap up on earnings. It's we probably put in a nice bottom here as earnings were, you know, were um, forecast to come in as a big disappointment. And it was a disappointment, and that was already factored in. I mean, it was enough talk about it. So, you know, that's the case that we're seeing in Potash. Everything down at these levels are, you know, basically um, priced in. Micron. Micron, an interesting base uh, here. I think it was Morgan Stanley or J.P. Morgan. One of the two put out a big research report probably about three or four months ago. Uh, and, you know, maybe it was even uh, back in January. I forget. Uh, Vegas Dave sent us a report and stuff. And they loved it in the second half of 2016. That's when the, the chip stocks would start to move. So I like the action on this today. I had a nice candlestick, good volume. I expect this to start to push back up, get back above 11. And I honestly think that this base is going to hold up pretty good. It's a nice base, and that's what we've been seeing a lot of stocks here trading in this type of base. Um, hmm. Well, I'm already up to 16 minutes. <laughs> so much for the 10-minute video. All right, another one um, is Allergen. Of course, Allergen and Pfizer had recent, uh, they broke up. And, um, you know, the uh, the merger here fell apart with some new rules being applied. And um, it's pulled back here. It took out, but we have a nice reversal candle. I like that candle a lot. We, we kind of doubled down on it today. It looks very good. I want to get some follow-through tomorrow. Still a dangerous stock. You know, I think a lot of people are expecting it to move higher, but it hasn't moved higher. Um, when it gapped down, a lot of people expected it to move up. And then we moved up to the 20-period moving average. And then we failed and rotated back down. And we had a nice reversal today. And we pushed back up. And, you know, we just need to get a little bit further. Uh, you know, 247, another, we'll see, who knows where this thing could go. But that'll be in focus again tomorrow. Big stock in focus. Um, KMB, I want to talk about this one. I've been... The only short I've been ha having, other than the puts into that lane divergence, was this KMB short. A lot of them are expired. A lot of my puts were expiring this week, so I got a little, uh, a little reprieve on it today. A big breakdown. This was what we call wasn't a divergence, but it was a rising wedge pattern, and this type of pattern typically breaks down uh, out of this wedge pattern. Now I don't know we're going to come down to that. Um, recent trend line back here or that 50 period moving average it seems there's a lot of things in that 131 area it's trading at 135 right now I would love to get a little bit more follow through I have, a, I have about three to four more puts on this and then I have some further out which are making money so it's the only thing I'm really kind of short on this and this had to, you know tremendous weakness all all day today I was hoping that maybe some bad news would come on this and just crush this thing but it did get a move down and it was kind of a little better so I did take a limited loss. I took, I you know, I didn't get any money on this. I, I took a loss on this, but I didn't take a big loss uh, comparable comparable to what it would have been. So I consider that uh, you know a little a little too late, a little little a little too late, too little too late. I guess that's what it is. Uh, but still in play and still a possible short. couple of my scans here showed a 60-minute divergence in AVB, uh, Avalon Bay. So there's a 60-minute divergence. You see a little spike down. We seem to be holding and crossing back up. So we're starting to see that lower low and that higher low. So there's a potential for this one to actually act off of this one. If we take a look at the daily, the daily here, not, not bad, kind of strong. You know, just a, really a pullback off the recent highs, almost a full rotation here. And that's uh, very interesting. You know, when we get a full rotation back here and we're holding off a recent, way off the recent lows, or, you know, there is the potential of this bouncing back. And when we have a lane divergence on the hourly, that usually marks where that's going to uh, do that pop. So I'm not in this one. I'm watching. I want to point out some of those divergences that I am seeing. I am getting a read on this one. It doesn't doesn't appear to be a divergence, but I would watch this Amer uh, American Tower. I've always liked this one, so it's not one that I really want to short into. But because it's coming up, look at this move up here. Now, we had a candle, uh, kind of a bearish candle today, but not a very bearish candle. I mean, we have a little dark candle. It was uh, 
It's actually positive, so it wasn't positive to flat on the day. Volume was okay, but I am getting the signal that they're starting to uh, get, and, I, and that's a mathematical uh, signal. It's not the, the best signal in the world. Cause we did take out the lows. Maybe we just starting to ro rotate over. Take off that. We did take off the highs. So I'd watch this on the 60-minute time frame tomorrow, just to kind of get us prepared. You can see that we're starting to move back up, and this might be, you know, when you do see a divergence, you could act on them real fast. It's because you get a fast gap up, and if we actually move here above this recent high here, and then we reverse, and this never really took out this low, that would set us up with that higher, higher high, wherever that high ends up being. And this crossing over giving us that lower high. And that would be our divergence. And I would want to take that opportunity on AMT just because we had that signal on the 60 minute time frame. So pay attention to the 60 minute time frame on this. You know, that's just uh, something that we have to pay attention to. Uh, you know, because if we see that divergence set up, that's, that's, the, that's the key. Know what to look for and, and acting on it when you see it. Speaking about divergences, we're going to be working with the Rambot all day tomorrow. So tune in if you can. If you can't, you can always tune in on the radio. Uh, tune in radio, day trading radio, day trader rock star show, or day trading radio. You can find it on all kinds of uh, platforms. You can get it on your Roku player. You can get it on Am Amazon Fire TV. And, of course, you get it at daytradingradio.com. Um, hope to see you in the markets. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, do I have a best bet for tomorrow? Well, you know, we know we like the markets. The markets are looking at very interesting here. Uh, I like that we broke out of this flag, and we have a good shot of actually getting some follow-through. And uh, the stocks I mentioned today are all looking pretty good. I would like to see uh, those follow through. And uh, tomorrow, well, I'll be starting the research for the HPS watch list, so we'll have a lot more of those out tomorrow anyway. All right, so have a great evening. I'm sorry this uh, ran past my uh, scheduled 10-minute video. It's 22 minutes and 12 seconds. I'll leave you with a, uh, a good night. I'll see you in the morning, or I'll see you now.